Good morning, you guys. Happy 4th of July. I feel like today's gonna be so excited. Uh, excited? Exciting. Last time that I physically watched fireworks was the year before I was pregnant. Obviously, the year I was pregnant, Willow was way too small, maybe two months old. And I remember like we drove around in the local town to watch fireworks, but we didn't really like go watch. So I'm super excited to go watch fireworks today. Jay's getting ready now. We're gonna go to the mall because I woke up this morning and I was like, I want tennis shoes. I do, and I know exactly what tennis shoes I want. So, good morning. I've been eyeing these New Balance shoes for so friggin' long, and like, I'm just gonna pull the trigger on them. I will show you guys that when I get back. We are gonna go make some breakfast in the meantime, and then we're gonna go to the mall. But, of course, today's video is sponsored by Mom Cozy. I've worked with Mom Cozy in the past, except before it was for a breast pump, and this time it is for a nursing bra. I'm actually wearing the nursing bra right now. If you can tell, it holds the girls up perfectly. Let's get into it. Here is the cute packaging that the bra comes in. This is definitely a bra that you need. The clasps on this bra are so high quality and so is the actual bra itself. It is a very gorgeous, seamless bra, so it's like you can honestly wear it with anything. And then this is obviously the part that you guys would use to nurse. So it's super easy, you're just gonna go ahead and unhook that bra, lift it up. The clasp on this bra is so sturdy, but it's super, super easy. The ones that I got often jam, and that's why I wasn't a nursing bra person, but I feel like this is changing the game for me. You can unhook the bra in the back. It is such a seamless, elegant looking bra. With the bra, they included these plastic cups, and I really like them. I didn't think I would, but Willa likes them more, so she steals them from me, and I can never wear them. <laughs> but they keep me from leaking through because the ones that we get in like bathing suits and other bras, they just, the milk goes right through, but these, the milk obviously doesn't seep through and it is game changing for me. And I don't even know if that's what they were designed for, but that is what I use them for and I love them. They don't make your boobs look rock hard. It still looks so natural. They also thankfully put other clasp in here so that if you break or lose any, that you've got some backup. So nice to have extras because my daughter likes to chew things. They also thankfully included an extra bra strap for the back. If anyone would need to add this, thankfully, again, I have one of these. So like I said, I am wearing the bra this morning. Normally I wear it right when I wake up since I've gotten it because that's when my boobs are the most filled with milk. It just hurts so bad. And this is so supportive. I'm a 32 double D since having Willow, so my cup size is one up one. It fits like a literal glove, lays perfectly on the side here. So again, you would just undo this clasp and obviously go ahead and breastfeed your baby. And again, it holds the girls, it shapes the girls perfectly. They look so amazing. So I'm gonna go change, we're gonna go get ready. We're already kind of running a little bit behind today, but yeah. Thank you again, Mom Cozy, for sponsoring today's video. Of course, you guys know I have a discount code and I will link it here on the screen and also down below in the description box. This bra has honestly been a game changer. I have no bras that genuinely fit me that I actually like. Tell them. Yeah. And so it's just really nice. I will do like a mommy must have video because I feel like there's so many things that I didn't know I needed as a mom that, um, thank you, thank you. There's so many things that I didn't know that I needed as a mom that would be so helpful to share with other people. You wanna go get ready and go to mall? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go, girl. Let's go, girl. We're in a Stranger Things mall. And my camera won't focus. It was just made in the 80s. It is so, there we go. We're in this creepy elevator, and wait, can you guys see the sign? It says, Please be patient with elevators. Stores are moving slower than usual right now. Thank you for understanding. Jay's response was, well, how long has that sign been there? Look at him, deaf and all. We're just browsing through the mall right now. Look how creepy it is, wait. I gotta make sure there's no one around before I start filming because I don't want to get cast out. But like, look at how empty this place is. It's like crazy. In and out, you know, in and out, no interruptions. Wait, it sticks all the way over here? Oh, it's on the other side. Duh. <laughs> Part 12 of Jay bringing us into a store where he's never gonna buy anything. <laughs> it all smells so bad. Tried. That is way too close to the Yeah, but that's close to the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. 
grown stuff inside. Open, open, open the door. You let me open the Is she not gonna notice you? Yes. Mm. Bring sexy back. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at Jay go. Oh, uh, uh, Hunger Wait. Games. Hunger Games. Yeah. The girl. So yes. Yeah. Style. Sorry, dude. Oh, sorry. the wrong way. Oh, basketball player. Basketball player. Most famous. Cool. No. Most no. famous. Most famous right now. Yes. She said it. Yes. She said Lamar. I said Lamar. Oh. Yeah, you said Lamar. I was like, Lamar's the most famous? That's how I know you. Because remember, there, there was one of those Demi Gorgon. So it is the next day, um, it is July 5th. I wanted to come on and just talk about what happened, I guess. So long story short, we left family's house and we headed to Lake Yola and we spent like 40 minutes alone looking for parking. Honestly, we we're ready to give up. And then Diamond called me and was like, oh, I found parking um, and there's parking for you guys as well. So we ended up meeting up with them and we got the parking spot. Uh, so we were walking towards the lake and it was so hot. So as you guys saw in the footage, the fireworks started and then Willow kind of was like getting a little fussy about it. Like we were holding her ear super, super tight and she really liked the colors. She really liked, but then obviously when the fireworks started to get more consistent, it was clearly bothering her. So we're walking away and I'm like holding her ears and holding her to my chest and we're like walking like down the street that we had came down to even get to the lake in general. We leave the family that we were with and we tell them like we're gonna go head back towards the car or even get a little bit farther from the fireworks because it's just super loud right here. We were like literally right in front of it. Um, so we're like, yeah, it's a little loud. We're gonna take it back to the car. So we start walking and not even 30 seconds into our walk, this girl yells, oh my God, they're shooting. I look back and I just see a wave of people running towards us. And like, so we're running. I just like hold Willow. I like hold her so tight and I'm holding her like this and I'm running. And I'm just like, the only thing in my head is like, get this little girl to the car safe. Like don't trip. As we're running, I see this girl who's literally right next to me. She falls and it was like the loudest, like, like she falls so hard. People are just running this girl over. And I'm like, if I didn't have Willow in my arms, honestly, I would have tried to help this girl up. But it was just like, I couldn't in the moment because I was just like, the only thing. Yeah, the only thing that matters is my daughter. Everyone that I was with, I just, I, I knew that they would take care of each other. I knew that they would all be fine, but also we were all still communicating with each other. So as we're running, I called Diamond and I'm like, they're shooting, that's what we're being told. Like you guys need to get out of there because they were also in like, in the same area as us and like they could see the fire like they were kind of like in the heart of everything as well and so i called her and i was like they're shooting and she goes i know like but i can't find crystal and i was like what and like i'm like what like where is she and she's like i don't know and so like everyone's like running i'm still you know like literally holding willow so tight holding my phone here jay's got my backpack he's got the stroller like it's just so much and we're just running and we're running through cars and cars are beeping and like everyone's like like i almost got hit by a car because like they also were trying to get away oh my god it was just so much and then we're running and i'm still on the phone with diamond while also almost getting hit by a car holding my baby following jay's direction because it's so dark i have no idea where we are and then i just like we see crystal like kind of like 
come coming towards us and he was like there's crystal and then I'm like telling time and I'm like okay we have crystal like you guys like just be careful like meet us back to the car we're so close to the cars and like we're like maybe a block away at this point and we're all just running through ditches through like brick roads like oh my god bush it, it was just so much we got back to the car and we get in the car and like willow is so hot but she's still her spears are so high she's like yelling happiness and like woo like she's so happy because obviously she has no idea what's going on and we get in the car jay throws her stroller in the back and then okay come here and then this lady, this um, this lady knocks on the window, and she like she knocks on the passenger window. So it's Jay in the front seat, Crystal in the passenger seat, me and Willow in the back seat. Willow. This lady and her three kids knock on the passenger window, and she says simply, "Oh, you want milk? You want milk? Let's get milk." She goes, can I use your phone? And I'm like, absolutely. So I hand her my iPhone and she's like, I can't find my husband. And she's like sobbing and her three daughters are sobbing. And I'm just like, in my head, I was like, I, I'm so grateful that this didn't end worse. Like, I'm so grateful that, you know, everyone that I came here with wasn't hurt or wasn't trampled almost. And like, it was just like, it was insane. So then she was like, it's freaking out. And she's like, can I get in? And I was like, of course, and like, Jay was obviously, cause he's just like the best at survival skills. And we talked about it um, last night and he was like, I didn't really like that you let her in, but I'm just like in my heart, like literally God was like, yes, like let her in. They're okay, they're fine. They're not anyone you need to worry about. And I was like, and if it was us, I would pray that someone would do it for us. She's like, can you drop us off at 7-Eleven? And it was four minutes away and she was like my husband i'll let him know to meet us there and like she's calling her husband he's not answering i'm calling him for my phone he's not answering and he's just not answering and like her kids are in the back and they're just like where's my dad like i can't find my dad and everyone's just crying after 10 minutes of not answering we finally got a hold of him and he met them at the 7-eleven we dropped them off we went home and we were on edge all night and it was honestly like a, such a scary experience, but I thank God that no one was seriously injured. Everyone walked away with minor scuffs and bruises and things that can be fixed or replaced. And so that is it for the vlog today. It's kind of sucky because it started out so like fun and we thought it was gonna be such a good day and it ended like, it ended in such a traumatic experience. Oh, um, since we're sitting here, these are the shoes I bought. These are the shoes that probably saved my life last night. If you guys don't know, I rarely, I rarely wear sneakers. Like, I, I don't think I do, actually. I do not wear sneakers. I'm always in open-toed sandals or, like, heels. And I just think it's funny that God was like, Go buy these sneakers that you've always wanted. Wear them all day. Break them in all day, even without socks. Just wear them. And I did, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like these are honestly what saved me because if um, if I were to wear sandals, I probably would have fell and I would have hurt m my daughter or myself or I would have lost Jay and it just could have ended so much worse. And <sighs> I can't. Anyways, that is it. Willow is asleep and I'm probably gonna watch some TV and get my mind off of things. If there's anything you guys take away from today's video, it is just do what makes you happy. Life is way too short to live with any regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.